Welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Master for the PC. This is Big Los, and we are on level 4. Let's check out our stats real quick for everybody. Exactly the same as the end of the last episode. Also, it's come to my attention that I've been casting the Wiccan Non-Material Being spell... And I thought it was the Poison Cloud spell. So that's why it really hasn't been effective at any of the monsters that I was casting it at. So, oh well. We still haven't died, so that's a good thing. We're in the end of a quarter right now, so let's get the real Poison spell going. There we go, and now... We should probably rest and regenerate our mana and hit points. Hopefully no monsters will come and disturb us. Alright, that should about do it. Now let's head in a different direction, one that we haven't gone in yet. I think I hear one of those flying snakes. We got two fountains here. Oh, there's one. And he already bit us. We need more practice. Boom. Boom. Two fireballs and he's dead. Anybody poisoned? No, we're doing okay, actually. Let's drink some of this water. Now what was this thing guarding? Staff of Claws. Not really sure what this does. Well, maybe we can take out some of these worm rounds. Alright, I guess we'll feed them to you, Wolfram. Anybody else hungry? No, just Wolfram. No. Alright. And it's getting dark again. Oh, don't have the mana for it. You have a poison spell. Well, that's a lot better. Well, I think we've explored everything around this area, so let's head back. So, what does this thing do? Brandish? What, just show it to the monsters? We haven't been over in that direction. So, we got a helmet, cask, and coif. Alright, well, I know that's definitely better than the berserker helmet. Nobody else needs a helmet, right? Well, then we'll just drop it. Leave it for the next set of adventurers. That's a dead end. Oh, what do we have here? Another snake. Boom. Oh. Can't really go anywhere. Oh, you're poison now. You can drink that. Oh no, I I keep forgetting to cast that poison spell. No, you still don't have the mana. Well, I guess you can drink that potion that you have. Still don't have the mana to cast a spell yet. I guess we'll have Wolfram do it. Why don't you do it again? There we go. I think we're all good now, except for our hit points. Let's 
Let's try to heal ourselves some. No. Oh, yeah. Well, now you're all the way at full. What about you? You could probably stand to drink some. No. You know what? I want to keep that. No. Alright, you're almost fully healed. One more ought to do it. No. Yep, there it is. All right. Let's have you with a poison spell at the ready. And let's have Lizor's spell thingy up so we can have him cast it. What is this? A Luminette? This wasn't open before. So is that thing supposed to act like a magic torch? Does that mean we don't have to keep casting it all the time? I hope so. Alright, so I think we've explored everything around here. Let's go back to the other treasure rooms. Alright, let's close the door on this one in case any monsters respawn. Alright, who's hungry? Alright. Let's go this way. And we have a gold coin. We'll give it to the Miser Gozer. So we have a passageway to our left, but let's continue ahead. So it ends in a dead end, but then if we go over here, there's a portcullis. And a, a switch. Eckhard Cross. Well, we can get rid of this choker. I think that cross enhances some type of priest skill that is hidden. I guess we could get rid of this torch now that we have that illuminate. Anything in there? No? Can't press the button again, it's been pressed. I think I hear a swamp monster wandering around. Look, nope, too far. Whoa. Okay, here's a button. And it moved the wall. Oh, what do we have over here? Gem of Ages. I think this enhances some other type of skill that I'm not sure about. So if we press this, what happens? It doesn't look like anything happens. Um, isn't something supposed to move around here? How about we press it again? What happens? Nothing. None of these walls move? No, nothing else has revealed itself? I don't see any changes. I must be doing something wrong. Hmm, what should we do? It sounds like that swamp monster is close around here. <laughs> Ow. Yep, quite solid. Not an illusion. How is it getting darker? I thought we had a luminette. Does it mean that it doesn't get darker than this level? Or will it get even darker than this? So pressing it again closes it. 
And now it's open again. And it's closed now. Maybe we have to do some type of button combination. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on here. Maybe another wall is moving in another room that we can't see right now. Hmm. Kind of at a loss here. How about we press this? And then press that. Something happened. Oh, all of a sudden, the wall's moved. Now here's another button. We press that. Oh, another wall moves. Here's another button. And... What happened? Did something move? It looks exactly the same as before. Yeah, we got two buttons here. See, that keeps moving that wall right there. And then that... I don't know. Is that supposed to do something? <coughs> Ow. Now I'm going the wrong way. It has something to do with this room here. Wasn't there like a button that's supposed to show up on this side? No, there's no buttons over there. And that wall has disappeared. Well, not disappeared, it's reappeared, but the button has disappeared. Okay. So we press that, and then what happens? <coughs> Nothing. Um, hmm. If we press this, that wall appears, or disappears, <coughs> I should say, the button appears. And now, that wall reappears. Interesting. Okay, we'll press that, and that wall has disappeared. We press that, and anything happen? No! Oh, boy. Okay, there should be something around here on the... I'm going to say the eastern wall. What am I missing? Is it like some type of combination? Maybe I have to push several of these buttons in a row? No, that just makes that wall appear. Oh, now a button appears all of a sudden. And now here's something else. Okay, here's the secret. Oh, monster. 130 damage? What happens if we brandish that? It runs away. Okay. That's useful. Oh, and now Chewie's probably poisoned. What do we have over here? Hosen. Which are basically... Like male boots. I guess leather is stronger than suede. You're gonna need a poison cure. 
Why don't you make a, another one? And now we have another set of mail. This is identical to Lizor's leg mail. I guess we'll give it to Chewy, and then we'll just drop the pants. Oh, we get the male Akatin. And a helmet. I think that's better than the Berserker helmet, so we'll just give that to Gozer. Now we have to do some inventory management. How fun. Anybody hungry? I guess that would be you. So we got a bunch of Screamer slices in there. And a bunch of scrolls that we could probably drop in here. Oh, it's getting even darker now, huh? Let's see, can you cast a strong magic torch? That's ah, not that strong. No. Oh, you need more practice, huh? Oh, there it goes. The strongest magic torch spell there is. Yeah, we don't need these scrolls anymore. You know what? We could drop the torch. We're not going to need that. We could give that to Wolfram. Well, there's no net change when we put food into the treasure. What if we give it to somebody else? How about the torch? No, you're still kind of overloaded. Can anybody else take it? I doubt it. I like how most of my characters have full... Or nearly full manas right now. Nope. Can we drop this Mirror of Dawn? I don't know. Doesn't seem like anything that we pick up changes the weight. How about we get rid of some of these worm rounds? Well, I don't know. We're going to have to drop something. I mean, we could probably give all the Screamer Slices to other party members. What if you drop a rock? No. Not much of a difference. What if we drop the mace? Well, then we're good again. I think the mace is more powerful than, than that sword, actually. We might just drop that. Because I don't think anybody else can carry it. It's too heavy. It's three pounds too much. What do you have here? Just a regular dagger? I guess you can hold on to it there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to like this, but I think I'm just going to take the mace. 
and drop the sword. We're not going to need the sword anymore. It's our weakest weapon. Alright, so after a lot of inventory management, now we can finally move on. I think that was the only monster, that swamp monster in here. So let's close the door just in case it respawns. And now let's check out this pit room that we were in in the last episode. Alright, so I guess we can just go up. And then when we go up, the pits on either side of us close. So let's go to the right. And now we got pits on either side. Let's go to the right. We've got a pit in front of us. Nope, now another pit in front of us. Oh, all of a sudden it's gone. Let's go up. We got a pit in front of us again. Let's go to the left. Let's go up. Let's go to the right. And we got a pit in front of us. Two spaces in front of us. We go... Oh, now it's gone. Okay, well, let's just move up. Oh, and here we are in... Another corridor. Oh, there's a shield here. A large shield. I guess you can hold on to the wooden shield. Oh, right behind us. Boom. What? You need more practice with that? Alright, it's dead. Anybody poisoned? No, but you're overloaded for some reason. I don't know why. How about we just give the dagger to you? Alright, and we have a drumstick here. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything over here. And if we go back this way, then the pits are going to start opening again. So, I suppose we could save our game. But first, let's get some spells ready in case there's monsters. No, you don't have the mana for that. Chewie does, so I guess we can rest up a little bit. And we'll restore some of our mana and some of Chewie's hit points. I guess we could do that off camera. We don't need that torch. Yeah, let's just do it now. Screw it. Alright, we should be good right now. Oh, you still don't have the mana, huh? All right, you got a fireball ready. All right, so let's look at everyone's stats again. Nobody gained any levels, so this is the same as it was before. All right. Hopefully in the next episode we'll gain some levels. Maybe we'll negotiate those pits again, get to another area. In the meantime, this is Big Low signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and Tango Mendia.